January 15th this year would have been Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s 95th birthday, and this April 4th will be the 56th anniversary of his assassination outside Memphis, Tennessee's Lorraine Motel. This morning, we welcome Wendy C. Thomas, the editor and publisher of MLK 50 Justice Through Journalism, where the news is reported through the civil rights lens. Welcome, Wendy. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Okay, so first of all, I've followed your career the whole time that you were uh, in newspapers. Talk to me about that moment of MLK 50. What made you go out on your own and say, this is that moment where I'm going to move my trajectory? Right. Well, I've been a journalist in Memphis now for more than 20 years. And when I was leaving the Commercial Appeal in 2014, I was thinking about how we would mark the 50th anniversary of Dr. King's assassination. And so a year before that, an that anniversary in 2018, I launched MLK 50, which is a nonprofit newsroom here in Memphis focused on poverty, power, and policy. And you have um, quite an extensive education. I mean, you, you had a fellowship. Can you just talk to me about that? How yeah. So I'm a product of Memphis City Schools. I always have to shout out public schools. Um, but I did go away to Harvard to do the Neiman Fellowship in 2015, 2016. And that's where I really got to incubate what would become MLK 50, this nonprofit newsroom that we're running now. OK, let's talk about since the 50th anniversary. That was the moment, the 50th anniversary of losing Dr. King. What has happened since then? And how has MLK 50 evolved? Yeah, so I think that moment was really an opportunity for the city to consider what we'd done with his sacrifice and pay a little more attention to some of the more serious issues that, you know, he raised, particularly around workers' uh, rights. And so now, six years since that milestone, um, we've grown from um, just a bunch of freelancers to a full-fledged newsroom, award-winning with 11 uh, employees. We just had a wonderful enterprise reporter start yesterday. So we're growing, and it's uh, really exciting to be part of this local media ecosystem. Um, um, where we're all, you and others, we're all charged with bringing quality information to the public. And so that's what we're really committed to doing here in Memphis for the most disadvantaged people. And you, you touched on it a little bit that MLK 50 has received national acclaim. Can you talk about some of the milestones uh, since MLK 50 began? Yeah, so um, we're real proud to have, you know, had some impact in some key areas, whether that was medical debt or around the Bahia pipeline or some of the work we've done around um, eviction, the eviction crisis and getting resources to renters who may be dealing with not the best landlords and that sort of thing. Um, I'm just really excited about what we're doing and this opportunity uh here in Memphis and what's ahead for us. Okay, Wendy, can you talk to me about uh, just some of the articles that really stick out to you? I, I know you've been breaking some stories in recent weeks and uh, all along. Yeah, so earlier this month, uh, we had our new government accountability reporter, Catherine Burgess, um, look into the um, police reform ordinances that Strickland, we learned, was not having enforced in his last um, days in office. Um, so you can expect us to be covering the Tyree Nichols um, case and those reform movements. Um, also, we had a beautiful, lyrically written piece by Memphis's own Zandria Robinson um, on Tyree's life. So really celebrating um, his legacy, his life, the joy in it, and not just framing that from the perspective of the tragedy. Can you talk about 2024 on this MLK Day, looking forward? What is uh, what are some of the things that you want to push forward uh, with MLK 50? Right. So we're still focused on accountability journalism. So government accountability, housing, um, public safety, of course, uh, are things that we're really focused on. Public health as well. So how can we make this community um, better, healthier, uh, safer for for all Memphians? Um, we're really excited about what's ahead. You can expect us to be covering the Tyree trial and you know, on track there. And then also with this new slate of elected officers, elected officials who have taken office, um, holding them accountable and reminding us and them that they are public servants. Okay, and how do we follow you? And you're, you're on social media. I've seen um, you've actually really kind of stepped it up in recent months. Yeah, so we're very active on all the platforms, X, Facebook, LinkedIn. Um, you can find us there, and we really encourage people to sign up for our newsletter at mlk50.com newsletter, uh, where you can keep up with everything we've got going on. 